A very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Botswana Accountancy College Board, management, staff, and students, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the BAC Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Thank you for being part of this spectacular event, which is broadcast live 
from the BAC Habruna Main Campus Auditorium. A total of 627 graduates at both undergraduate and master's degree levels will be conferred today. These programs are delivered by BAC in collaboration with the University of Derby, Sheffield Harlem University, and the University of Sunderland. Traditionally, our partner universities come to Botswana to celebrate our joint academic achievements. Now this year, for obvious reasons, they will be joining us remotely. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jay Mutibi, and I'll be your host for this year's ceremony. This year, we have a special celebration where our graduates will be conferred remotely and celebrate with us from their respective homes in the company of their families. Please note, for the clarity of the proceedings and to manage background interference, we will mute the guests' microphones or rather keep them off. You are, however, welcome to make commentary, share your celebratory moment on the BAC Facebook page at Botswana Accountancy College. I do trust that wherever you are, you are subscribing to the COVID-19 precautionary measures, that is, you are keeping the social distance, you are sanitizing at all costs, and most importantly, you do wear your masks. We shall now welcome the class of 2020 best students per program led by the class of 2020 valedictorian.
at this particular juncture, um, it's very important that uh, we invite God. And for that particular invitation, I'd like to call to this here podium the program leader at the School of Business and Leisure, Dr. Wilbert uh, Mutoko, to give us the opening prayer. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so very grateful for your grace, for your love, and for your mercy. We thank you for helping us through these hard times as an institution. We thank you for helping our leaders. We thank you for helping our staff. We thank you for helping our students and the parents. We appreciate the presence of the Holy Spirit in this event, and we ask for your wisdom and your understanding. Help us that this event will go well. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you so much, uh, Doc. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you may just uh, please take your seats. Thank you so much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, welcome to the BAC Class of 2020 Visual Graduation Ceremony. I say once again, because definitely here at BAC, you will be welcome the moment you walk in. But allow me to uh, recognize the presence of the Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Douglas Letsola Tebe. <clears throat> Botswana Accountancy College uh, Board Chair and its members. But on Accountancy College Executive Director, Mayor Setiliburu. <laughs> Vice Chancellor of Sheffield Hallam University, Professor Sir Chris Husbands. <laughs> Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive of the University of Derby, Professor Catherine Mitchell. Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive of the University of Sunderland, Sir David Bell. Botswana Accountancy College Executive Management. BAC Senior Leadership Team, staff, students, as well as alumni. All esteemed BAC stakeholders joining us live today. Members of the Fourth Estate. And last but not least, a special acknowledgement to the BAC class of 2020 graduates, families, and friends. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Allow me at this particular juncture uh, to come and give us her welcome remarks uh, the BAC Executive Director, Mayor Setili Buru, if you could just join me at the podium. Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to Botswana Accountancy College Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Master of Ceremonies, the Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Douglas Lesola Tebe. I know that we were supposed to have the Permanent Secretary, um, but in his absence here, we recognize him as well, uh, Professor Nelson Toto. Senior Representative of the Botswana Government, the Botswana Accountancy College Board Chairperson and uh, the Board of Directors of BAC. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Derby, Professor Catherine Michel. The Vice Chancellor of the Sheffield Hallam University, Professor Chris Husbands. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Sunderland, Sir David Bell. The BAC Leadership Team, BAC Management, the Union Chairman and President of BAC and BAC staff, our industry partners and their leadership, and our graduation sponsors, the BAC SRC President and your council members 
both in Francistown and Kaboroni. Our special guests, the media, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I'm very excited and very delighted to welcome you to one of the many fests that we've had in 2020. Uh, pretty much we are here, we could have been here in a different way, but today we are here and we are being listened virtually. Uh, this is a first for us. Traditionally, I know that you would have been gathered here with your families, with your friends, with the representation from different sectors of the economy, and also the students uh, who would have gotten best prices, other stakeholders that we always celebrate with. That being said, it's not a train smash. It just shows that we are resilient in our country. We are resilient as BAC for us to be here today, still doing it, but doing it virtually. The other thing is that, as you can see within the room, uh, we've got you know, very few people, and this is because of the social distancing protocols that we find ourselves having to, to, to comply to. We actually had to ride on the technology wave to host the graduation ceremony this way. But I'm pleased that we'll have to take this as an opportunity to do things differently going forward. I do trust though that today you will enjoy the graduation ceremony to commemorate your hard earned achievements that you worked for passionately with determination over the years despite the pandemic challenges we are facing today. In March of 2020, when the COVID-19 was declared a pandemic and His Excellency the President of the Republic of Botswana instituted a state of emergency and the first lockdown to preserve the lives of the nation, we were almost concluding our teaching and learning academic calendar to prepare for the end of year examination. The BAC team, as they always do, they actually swiftly established a crisis management plan and implemented that plan with speed. This included an emergency command center to facilitate and ensure continuance of service provision and to support the learners. Our greatest gratitude goes to the class of 2020 graduates and to all the students uh, of BAC, all our partner universities, the government, parents, and other stakeholders who worked relentlessly uh, and they worked very hard to join hands to support the plans of rescheduling the academic calendar. That being said, we have come this far and we are still sure that we still continue to shape the future leaders of tomorrow as BAC. To the partner universities, we appreciate that you really accommodated our requirements while also working on aligning uh, your own academic plans. Um, given the pandemic, um, it was so difficult for everybody else, but you came to party to help us to achieve what we've achieved today. I'm also pleased to announce that our partner universities have committed to continue with their scholarship for the best overall students for programs offered in collaboration with them. So today, the outstanding students will receive scholarships to advance into postgraduate programs we offer in partnership with universities during the next academic year. Thank you very much for your support. We are truly blessed to be partners. To facilitate the continuity of teaching and learning, our students were offered data SIM cards. We also tried our best to give them all the gadgets that are required for them to be able to continue with the lessons. In addition, we also offered masks so that when we start the classes, everybody is safe um, against this particular pandemic that we have. With the understanding that students come from different social backgrounds and that the lockdowns may have affected students in several and different ways, we engaged professionals to offer psychosocial support to ensure that they are safe and motivated to continue with their studies. And to that, I should thank you, uh, graduates. I should thank you, students, um, for having uh, that energy and drive to be able to go through this. 
Ladies and gentlemen, these services were offered remotely during lockdowns, and we trust that these services have been effective in helping the affected students to cope with whatever situations they find themselves in. And I guess this is why we are here today, celebrating success yet again as BAC, despite the COVID-19 challenges. I'm therefore very proud that despite some of these challenging situations, our students managed to complete their studies and with flying colors and for the first time in the history of BAC. We have introduced working at home for our staff as well. Currently, some employees are working from home. They take tents, and this is basically for safety of our employees and the safety of those that we love. The graduating class of 2020, this is an indication that times have changed. We no longer do things the way we used to do them. This change cuts across every moment of our lives, at home, from home to school, or work or back, from work to school, to, to, to home, and even uh, within our communities. These are extraordinary times that need extraordinary thinking and action. The decisions that we make as to where we go, what we do, how we meet, has got a bearing on our safety and health. And it's very important as graduates that you should follow lead or lead in this particular aspect so that we can be able to be safe. It is therefore our responsibility to individually and severally to self-regulate as the people. Our togetherness in fighting this pandemic makes us who we are and determines our future. Let's continue to fight this together and rise. I therefore urge you to be ready to learn and relearn to adopt the new changes and to accept them as part of a new way of living. This provides a chance for you to be creative and to identify opportunities to develop solutions and products in response to these changes. You also do not have to go it, to do it alone. Um, these days, synergies, partnerships, collaborations are a way of actually making sure that you have a better multiplier effect in developing your business um, and coming up with something that works. You can do it in partnership with your friend. You can do it in partnership with your colleague in other institutions. You can do it in partnership with other colleagues in the partner universities that we have, or even with other countries to make sure that you become a stronger team that can actually take cognizance of the different permutations and thinking uh, that can come out with products and services that solve problems. It is therefore time for you to reach out and play that part. We have observed over time uh, with growing interest that entrepreneurship is no longer an option. It's basically a career, given the unemployment rate that we have globally and even in our country. So alongside the government job creation, we should make sure that we, we do something for ourselves. As BAC, we decided to have an innovation and entrepreneurship center to make sure that we cater for this. And therefore, as we do that, it is going to be part of the learning experience of all the students at BAC. And I'd like to think that the graduates, as you leave, you're going to be able to mentor and coach in these particular centers. We have also introduced what we call a venture creation and innovation module for all the undergraduate degree programs to create awareness about this entrepreneurship. And therefore, we encourage our students to consider entrepreneurship as a career option. Research is no longer an option as well. Uh, we are encouraging you on a daily basis to research um, and make sure that you come up with solutions. Normally, what we do is we come up with solutions because we thought about it. We don't go into detail to research so that we can actually come up with proper solutions that can make a difference. So research, research, research. It's important that you research to make sure that you come up with societal needs and societal solutions to the problems. One of the breakthroughs that our students uh, in both campuses, Francistown and Kaboroni did, was to collaborate and develop an application uh, that alerts people in an individual contact list when it depicts violent words 
as a solution to prevent the JBV, which is gender-based violence, during a science, technology, engineering, maths uh, hackathon in Palapi. We also have our own lecturer here um, and some of the students that have also developed a very smart visitage registration application called Bayeng, and I would like to think that you actually benefited from it today. Um, and not only that, as you were students, you actually benefited by just using Bayeng, coming to class or coming to the campus. This application can be customized and developed further to add, the to, to add further functions and other functions to enhance operations of the business. We look forward to launch and implement more innovative products and solutions at the centers that we'll be setting up as BAC uh, in both Francistown and Khaboroni. To the graduates again, our wish is that creativity and innovation will continue to be something that is beyond your daily activities. It's something that you'll be doing every day. Our lecturers are available to assist in coaching and support for even to partner for the development of the implementation of any projects uh, that we have. I have to also say that we normally as BAC prepare the students for the world of work. Um, and this is where we actually sit down with you and teach you the CV writing, leadership skills, um, business etiquette, communication, personal branding, and all of that. Um, my expectation is that you've gone through it and, and therefore it will be easier for you. But if you haven't, please see our uh, strategy office uh, so that they can be able to take you through this uh, with an initiative called LEAD360 that we've introduced in the two campuses that we have. We've also introduced uh, self-help and empowerment seminars which have been hosted and delivered virtually uh, using the web-based uh, seminars to ensure active participation uh, of more stakeholders taking into consideration the social distancing protocols. Once again, let me take this opportunity to congratulate you graduates, class of 2020, for the extraordinary and exceptional performance amidst the challenges we find ourselves in. You are not ordinary. You've done so well. It was very difficult, but you went through. For that, you really deserve a round of applause. The environment is dynamic, the change is inevitable, and it is a crucial part of our lives. I therefore encourage you to realize that any new situation or change to our lives, or a way that would change the way you live, can actually provide windows of opportunity. So take this as an opportunity. See the things that other people don't see, so that we can be able to come up with businesses through this difficult time. Identify the needs that are required during the pandemic. Identify the challenges that are there or any other areas of improvement. Or maybe today as we speak, there are certain areas of improvement that you might actually see as we're sitting here. That is an opportunity for you. Grab it and run a business. The other thing is that last year, we introduced the AMA Awards named in the honor of our alumni, Ms. Angela Matapeng, in partnership with Bofinet to inspire the young women in technology to follow the dreams and passion and purpose in the technology space. Today, two young women will be awarded this influential award to promote participation of young women in technology. Congratulations to all who will be receiving the best students award and the most prestigious achievement of the year, the valedictorian of the BAC class of 2020. Let me say that to the graduates that BAC management and staff are very delighted that we've been part of this successful journey and we know that it will go in the history of all the things that would have happened in the world. I'm not quite sure whether we'll say we'll be in the Guinness Book of Records given that we navigated this pandemic, but if we are not, we're still in the history books because of what we've done. This class of 2020 had to instantly adopt and embrace new ways of living, learning and accelerate, accelerate the use of ICT to complete their studies successfully, and they came out victorious. I must say that as you face the new economy and that all the things that come with it, it is important that you educate yourself 
in what is and what is not, what will be and what will be not, so that you can be able to focus and do what is appropriate. As you close this chapter, the new one is opening. I hope you will create and take advantage of various opportunities for yourselves and the other young people around you. I believe the various programs that you went through during your learning journey and experiences with BAC has influenced, molded you, molded your career, molded your being, molded your personal growth, and I guess even molded the way you behave as a person. And this is instrumental to shaping you uh, going forward. I urge you to continue to be as vibrant as we know you. I know that BAC students are very vibrant. Please let, not, let it not die when you get out. Let that vibrancy still continue. I also would inspire you that you come back to BAC in your different capacities to mentor, to coach, so that you can make other students succeed the way you did. I know that during this difficult time, it would be remiss of me, Master of Ceremony, not to take this opportunity to thank all the frontline officers for their willingness to take the bullets for the nation. All the essential services for ensuring that we are protected and that we have daily provisions to be alive and to continue to have a clean environment and to save lives. For this, I think they deserve a round of applause and we should salute them. I would say again, lastly, congratulations to the class of 2020. We wish you all the best and a very productive life ahead of you. We look forward to seeing you again here at BAC, or even in town, or if, even in Francistown. But again, as we open these doors for you in the industry, please make a difference. Please be our champion. Let the BAC name be heard out there. We are relying on you as champions of BAC. Good luck with your future aspirations. Do stay alert and be safe. And I think you'll have a lovely day today. Thank you very much. Can I get another thunderous round of applause for Meliburu? For those words of wisdom. You know, um, as she was speaking, I was able to pick out uh, one word that which I also find or found it to be very, very important, especially at uh, such a time. And by definition, it is an ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. That word was resilience. She said as BAC, they became resilient. She's now saying to you, Go out there with that resiliency, face on the world, work hard, keep your head up because they instilled all that in you. Congratulations. I wish I was the one graduating Kanakoyena because I'm pretty sure I'll be sitting here with these uh, high performers. Any which way. I would like to invite to the podium the Deputy Executive Director of Academic Affairs, Dr. Byron Brown, to come and introduce the leadership uh, from the BAC Partner Universities with a round of applause as he makes his way to the podium. Allow me to start by acknowledging our special guests, our honorable Minister for Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Leto Lalatebe, the BAC Executive Director, Ma Seti Leburu, the Registrar of the College, Mr. William Sekatsa, fellow academic staff, colleagues, 
the graduating class of 2020, their parents and well wishes, members of the media present, representative from our partner university, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I'm here to introduce the vice chancellors of our partner universities. But before I do that, let me take this time to extend my heartfelt congratulations to our graduating class of 2020. I dare say, well done. Your hard work has paid off and I wish you the very best for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to introduce the representative of our partner universities. They are here to witness the conferment of the, of the awards. And I'll begin with University of Derby. Representing the University of Derby is the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kathleen Mitchell. <laughs> Professor Mich Mitchell is a distinguished scholar with background in the health sciences, specifically clinical psychology. She has worked in universities and research institutes, not just in the UK, but also in the United States. She is also a distinguished academic leader who serve at various levels of university life. She started off initially as the Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of West London before taking up the role as Vice Chancellor at the University of Derby. She leads a university with more than 30,000 students. Since her appointment as the Vice Chancellor, she has guided the university to many achievements. The most notable is the Gold Award in 2018 for teaching and learning excellence in the UK. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Kathleen Mitchell. <laughs> now I move to Sheffield Harlem University. Representing the Sheffield Harlem University is Professor Sir Chris Husbands the Vice Chancellor of the University. <laughs> Professor Husband has been the Vice Chancellor of the Sheffield Hallam University since January 2016. Sir Husband is a fellow of the Academy of Social Sciences he is a distinguished scholar, a distinguished academic leader with expertise in education policy and practice. He has written uh, several books and numerous journal articles published in international journals and have been translated into different languages around the world. Professor Husband served across various levels of university leadership. Initially, as head of the Institute of Education at Warwick University, then as Dean of Education and Lifelong Learning at the University of East Anglia, and then further as Dean of Faculty and later Director for the Institute of Education. 
Still further, as provost, pro-vice chancellor of the University College of London. Professor Sir Chris Husband obtained his knighthood in 2018 as part of the Queen's Birthday Honours for services to higher education. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Chris Husband. And finally, representing the University of Sunderland is Professor Sir David Bell, the Vice Chancellor of the University. <laughs> Professor Sir David Bell has been Vice Chancellor since 2018. He is a distinguished scholar with strong background in the field of education. Sir Professor Sir Bell is a seasoned academic who serves across various levels of the education system from primary level up to university level. Prior to joining the University of Sunderland, Sir Bell served as Vice Chancellor of the University of Reading and as Director of Education and libraries with Newcastle City Council. He also served as policymaker, being the permanent secretary in government and the PS for the Department of Education for six years. Professor Sir Bell, David Bell obtained his knighthood in 2011 as Knight Commander of the Order of, the, of Bath, he continues to serve various communities and councils across the United Kingdom. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Sir David Bell. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. Another round of applause to Dr. Brown, please. Now, top students, by character, have a collection of positive habits and mindsets that make that person successful in class. Well, I say this because, uh, like I did mention earlier, I was a very uh, high-performing student. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now uh, time for us to have a special recognition of best students per program announce and award the BAC Class of 2020 valedictorian. And uh, the best students uh, will be presented uh, by the BAC Executive Director, Mese Tiluburu. However, uh, those in the masters or postgraduate, uh, they will be presented to by the Honorable Minister. And I'm going to commence with that. Best in project management, masters in project management, Bahomutsi Precious Adesida. Keep those round of applause going. She is the best, and she deserves that round of applause. Best in Executive MBA, Bakang Putejo. Wow. <laughs> Executive MBA, <laughs> Rebakang Putejo. Best Procurement and Logistics Management, Master's degree, Melillian Musa. <laughs> Procurement and logistics management. Wow. She really deserves another thunderous round of applause. I think I can now ask the Honorable Minister to take uh, his seat and I'll ask the Executive Director of BAC, Mese Tiliburu, to uh, also come into the center of the stage. 
for the undergraduate degrees. And these have outperformed others in the different programs. And uh, first coming to receive theirs is uh, Pedna Lalang Mafujani, BA Honours Accounting and Finance. She'll be followed by Bramuzai Daniel, BA Honours Entrepreneurship and Business Leadership. Wow. Let's give it a round of applause to Atang Polite Mlambo, BA Honours Business Management. Atlang Polite Blambo, BA Honors Business Management. She outdone herself. And outdone the others. Let's welcome to the stage Tulofelo Mohaye, BA Honors International Finance and Banking. Also getting hers is Maikutlo Bunyongo, BA Honours International Hospitality Management. Maikutlo Bunyongo, BA Honours International Hospitality Management. With a round of applause, let's bring to the stage Buitumelo Akila Bohanamang, BA Honours International Tourism Management. Let's also welcome with a round of applause Nana Kwanadu Lorato Anani, BSc Honours Computer Systems Engineering. Well done. Also well done to Harvey Pato Mutabi, BSc Honours Applied Business Computing. <laughs> Let's also congratulate the Papiwa Nsengatekwe, BSc Honours Business Intelligence and Data Analytics. Wow. Wow. And last but not least, let's give a thunderous round of applause to Kefira Magdalene Monyati, BSC Honors Mobile and Web Technologies. Congratulations. Thank you, Maliburu. You may retreat back to your seat. Can I get another a thunderous round of applause to all those recipients? Well done. Now, it was, it was mentioned earlier about the Angela Mata Ping AMA Award. And this was introduced back in 2019 by one of our own here at BAC, uh, the BAC class uh, of 2019, 2015 rather, alumni. Ms. Angela Matapeng, from her journey of being a woman in the ICT, she introduced this award to celebrate and motivate other young women in the field of ICT to excel in their chosen line of work. This year, we have two recipients of that particular award. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to ask May Angela Matapeng to come to the stage and also request uh, Meli Burum to also join her in the center stage for the presentation of these two awards. With a thunderous round of applause, please, let's bring back to the stage Nana Konadu Lorato Anani to receive 
the Angela Matlapeng AMA Awards 2020. If I may have that uh, thunderous round of applause again. Let's welcome the second recipient, Kifilo Magdalene Monyati, to also receive the Angela Matabing AMA Award. A round of applause to these phenomenal young women who are doing exceptionally well in this field of ICT. My goodness. Thank you so much, uh, Meliburu. Thank you so much, uh, Memata Ping. Right, we uh, proceed. And uh, this, this award that will be presented by the Honorable Minister, it's uh, a very prestigious award. This is the Class of 2020 Valedictorian Award. And for that, I'd like to call the Honorable Minister to the stage, who will be joined by the Executive Director of BAC, Ms. Etili Buru, to present this award. Now, the valedictorian is, like myself, the most outstanding student of that academic year, who excels academically and participates, supports, and inspires fellow students in academic, social, and other extracurricular activities. Ladies and gentlemen, the BAC class of 2020 valedictorian with a thunderous round of applause, Ms. Nana Konadu Lorato Anani. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. Thank you so much, um, Maliburu. I would like to recall uh, the ever so amazing valedictorian to come and speak to her fellow students. Good morning. Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Douglas Litula Tebe, BAC Board of Directors, BAC Executive Director, Ms. Seti Liburu, Vice Chancellors, University of Derby, Sheffield Hallam, and of the University of Sunderland, BAC Deputy Executive Director, Dr. Brown, BAC 2019 Valedictorian, Tabonga Muchuchuti, BAC Management Staff, and Class of 2020. I am honored to stand here before you today as BAC's 2020 valedictorian. I admit that writing this speech was even harder than writing my research documentation for my final year. And believe me, I would have never imagined that there would be anything harder than that. The hard part about it was that I was told that my graduation speech had to make you laugh, then cry, and then inspire you, and it had to be short. So you can see that that's not an easy task to accomplish, but I'll try. Firstly, and perhaps most obviously, I am filled with great sense of happiness and accomplishment. Never in a million years did I think I would be standing here with such an achievement. Never did I think I would share my story this way. I realized it wasn't, my, wasn't really my story. It was a story of how God has guided me and how my life is a testimony of his love. My parents died nine months apart. I was nine. And honestly, I had the choice to be rebellious, to throw my life away and live it recklessly. But before their passing, they instilled a passion for learning in me that I appreciate every day. It is because of them that I know the importance of investing in yourself. That was the best gift that they ever gave me before departing the earth. As Nelson Mandela would say, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I channeled the pain I felt to my education. I wanted to be the best and do the best. 
I have been through the most challenging things in my life. In spite of the circumstances, I worked very hard to achieve my success. Their absence on this day fills me with so much pain, but I know my angels are proud. As a female in a male-dominated industry, I am proud to know that I will inspire and encourage those that wish to pursue a career in ICT. Believe it or not, women in this field fight silent battles. It is, it is as though people do not believe that we too can code programs. Well, I am a testimony that I too can excel in this field. There was a time I wasn't sure. There was a time I wasn't sure if I'd even be around to see this day. I can't speak for the other graduates, but I do know that many others have felt the same way. Believe it or not, I cried so much during my final year in fear of not doing or being able to live, deliver good work. I remember one time an assignment was due and I had to develop an, an intelligent system of my own choice. The hardest part about this assignment was starting it. Honestly, I think the hardest, I think starting was the hardest part about every piece of work, but hard doesn't mean impossible. If I did not go through what I went through, I wouldn't be who I am today. Losing can be the best motivator to you to get bigger wins. When you feel like all things are falling apart, let that motivate you to trust that you're ready. You have the power and the tools to move forward. I remember very well that my class would always complain when we were given work, yet they managed to do it. It was almost as if they felt that they were unable, but look at them now. I would like to thank my aunt. I appreciate her. She's my mother. All my siblings for, my, for their support. They all believed in me so much. My lecturers for mentoring me and all my classmates for making this journey fun. While I hope I have encouraged you to strive for success, we all have the power to achieve it. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to, is to do all that you can do to reach your full potential. Class of 2020, we are about to make the world turn. We are winners for graduating at a time like this. Believe it or not, we are fighters. Look at what you've been able to do. I urge you to let this moment encourage you to stay focused. Do not just dream about what you're going to do. Live it and be about it. From this day forward, let us make each decision with our best interests in mind. The future is truly in our hands. So let's make the most of it. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am delighted to congratulate all of our students who have successfully completed their studies on University of Derby programmes at Botswana Accountancy College. Graduation is one of the most important days for our university and is a celebration of your success. We acknowledge the considerable commitment of time, energy and personal sacrifice that many of you have made to achieve your qualification. So on behalf of all my colleagues at the University of Derby, I wish you our warmest congratulations. I am sure there were times when the going was tough, but real achievement is never attained easily. Through your own ability, persistence and determination, and with the support of friends and family, many of whom are here today to celebrate you have achieved your goal, so please take pride in yourself. The University of Derby, a community of which you are now a full member, is extremely proud of your achievements. We are living in extremely challenging times which require resilience, patience and collaboration. Moreover, there remains much uncertainty, so I am delighted to say that at the University of Derby, we have navigated this uncertainty and we have continued to work effectively with all our partners and we have seen the best ever recruitment for the university. Our community now comprises of over 30,000 people, the vast majority of whom are students studying on a wide range of disciplines in the UK, but across the globe too, 
including of course you, our students who are studying here at BAC. We are delighted also to have been awarded the University of the Year for Social Mobility. Our strength and reputation is growing in delivering outstanding graduates for our diverse economies across the globe. The University continues to be committed to providing a high quality of learning and teaching experience for all its students and remains at the heart of our mission. So it is important that today we remind ourselves that there are vast numbers of people for whom genuine educational opportunity is denied. So through our learning communities we must challenge and try to overcome these barriers to support openness, tolerance and fairness. Within our fast changing and uncertain world, employment, a job is paramount and so the focus now on skills and employability, being flexible and determination are all qualities that you need to remind yourselves to be successful for your future. All of you have acquired significant knowledge and skills through your studies. That The process of your learning is never finished. More than ever before, particularly during these challenging times, you will need to continue learning if you want to flourish and lead a prosperous and fulfilling life. The University of Derby is keen to be part of that process. However, today I am delighted to announce the winners of the highest overall achievement in two of our programmes. The first is for BA International Hospitality Management Honours and that award goes to Bonyongo Maikotolo. The second award is for BA Honours International Tourism Management and that award goes to Bonangam Botumelo Aquila. Finally, really take pride in what you have achieved, enjoy your day and congratulations for everybody from the University of Derby. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues at Botswana Accountancy College, and of course, most importantly, as students here in Botswana. I'm Sir Chris Husbands, Vice Chancellor of Sheffield Hallam University, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this virtual graduation ceremony for Botswana Accountancy College. I'm delighted to be able to send you my congratulations, even if it is through a screen. I wanted to come to Botswana this year to meet you all and share your special day. Something I was very much looking forward to, and I'm disappointed that the global pandemic has prevented me from joining you in person this year. In the near future, we want to organise an alumni event so that we're able to meet and celebrate your success together. But for now, I'm grateful that technology allows me to join you virtually. It's a poor substitute, but it's better than nothing. Today's a celebration. We're here to mark success. We're here to recognise commitment and determination. This year, in the face of the enormous challenges that the global pandemic has presented us all with, we're here to pay tribute to your courage and your resilience. Completing your studies in such uncertain times is an exceptional achievement. Everyone receiving an award today should feel extremely proud. The governors and staff at Sheffield Hallam share pride in your achievements. The high standard of the awards conferred today reflects not only your determination, it recognises the quality of the teaching, both from Botswana Accountancy College and Sheffield Hallam University. In this partnership, our commitment is to helping each student fulfil their potential, personally and academically. Today, all of you are joining the University's role of honour, and you're in very good company. Our graduates are achieving great things all over the world. They're in government ministries, heading schools and colleges, designing buildings, running major companies and businesses, inventing new products and leading the way with medical care. If we've learned one thing this year, it's that our world really is closely interconnected. Around the world, the challenges we all face are strikingly similar. Careers are changing, lifestyles are changing, technical and social changes making new demands on us all. 
the working world you'll be part of in the future will be very different from the past. Many of you are likely to undertake jobs in the next decade or so that don't even exist yet, such as the innovation in our global industry, economy and wider society. It's perhaps only human that we think of these challenges as local and our own, when in fact they're global and face all people around the world. In this 21st century, we face common challenges. Our futures depend on our working together, learning from each other, making connections, all the things you've done to succeed. Equipping people with the skills to thrive and providing with opportunities to use their skills effectively demands some special things. It demands shared vision. It demands imagination. It demands careful planning. It demands respect and understanding. It demands partnership and determination. I'm incredibly proud of Sheffield Hallam's partnership with Botswana Accountancy College. We learn a lot from our partnership with you and I'm humbled by what we've achieved together and I'm proud at what each of you here today have achieved. Recognising student achievement is very important to us and supporting student success plays a vital role in the special relationship between BAC and Sheffield Hallam. We've established a full scholarship to be awarded to a high achieving undergraduate student each year to progress to a master's course with us here in Botswana and we take this opportunity to recognise Tavonga Mutututi who is currently studying our MBA programme. Congratulations. As all of you go on to employment or further study, you'll be helped to add to the fine reputation both Botswana Accountancy College and Sheffield Hallam enjoy. I hope you take some important things from your studies. The skills, capabilities and competencies you've acquired, the ability to learn to learn, the ability to build successful working relationships with quite different people. These are attributes which will help you to thrive. Whatever opportunities and challenges lie ahead for you now, our good wishes go with you as you move on. And do remember that graduation marks the start of a lifelong relationship between the university and you as an alumni. Do keep in touch so that we can follow your careers. Finally, take a moment today to reflect on your studies with us here in Botswana. Especially this year, it's important that we celebrate and look forward with confidence to a bright and prosperous future. Congratulations on your achievements in this exceptional year. We understand the extra effort required to succeed and on behalf of everyone at the university I wish you every success and every happiness. Thank you and congratulations. Distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, families and most importantly our graduates. I am Sir David Bell, the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Sunderland. It is my great pleasure to join you, albeit virtually, to congratulate our class of 2020 on completing their studies. I stand in awe of our soon-to-be graduates for their commitment, their dedication and their sheer hard work. Not to mention the fact that they, you, have achieved such success despite the challenging times through which we have been living. I'm enormously grateful to students and staff alike for how well they have adapted to these very different and difficult circumstances. It speaks to grit, resilience and determination, characteristics that we acknowledge and honour today. The University of Sunderland is very proud of its long association with Botswana Accountancy College. It's a partnership built upon mutual respect and trust in each other. Not only that, it's a relationship going from strength to strength as we develop new ways to work together. To Ms. Serte Leberu, Dr. Byron Brown, Dr. Galamoyo Mali, and all of the Botswana Accountancy College staff involved in inspiring and supporting our students, I extend my congratulations and gratitude to you. Your engagement with the students and your dedication 
in helping them achieve their goals has been exemplary. But let me also acknowledge the family, friends and supporters joining today. You all have my deepest gratitude for the support and encouragement that you have given our new graduates. On their behalf, thank you for all that you have done. I'd like to share with you a little about the University of Sunderland, the family of which everyone here today is a part. Ours is a truly global university with a home location in a city by the sea, in our case, the North Sea. Yet we do all that we can to extend our outstanding approach to learning and teaching and the creation and dissemination of knowledge. From here in the northeast of England, through our campuses in London and Hong Kong, to our partner institutions across the world, including, of course, Botswana Accountancy College. We welcome people from all kinds of backgrounds to come and study with us. In so doing, they can improve their lives and life chances. And we have the special privilege of helping them along the way. But let me return to those of you who are graduating today. Congratulations once again on reaching this very important milestone. Today represents a new beginning as you embark on the next phase of life. And in today's complex and uncertain world, freedom of thought and expression, tolerance, an understanding of different views and beliefs are values we believe will help you to thrive. I would add to these a regard for global, societal and environmental issues. Through your education, we want you to leave ready to make a difference and change the world for the better. Whatever you choose to do, be open in your thinking, outward looking in your attitude, generous in spirit, and always alive to the needs of others. So, class of 2020, take with you a sense of solidarity and a burning desire to leave the people around you better off as a result of your presence. At the same time, keep a place in your heart for the University of Sunderland and talk proudly of your time with us. I do hope that we can meet in person next year, but in the meantime, to everyone here, enjoy the day. Good luck and all the very best for the future. Invite a young man or a young lady. Retla mwana hata mo staging. Kota kora halo boko or a poem. And um, this is a poem by a Sibylla One Primary School pupil. Sibylla One Primary School is uh, one of the schools that were uh, adopted uh, by BAC, and uh, they take pleasure in witnessing them groom such talent in their school. And then I invite our poet, something that I've wanted to try. Let me get the inspiration from this young lad. I understand he's a standard three student. Wow. And Utli Leho, Horahalo Hoko. In a real man, oh, in the my pipi, can I write down now my pipi in fair? I was Jana Maya Mutu, in a Rukukuani, can't have a little take. If I tell my book, I have a Nauta Wira Rabul, Kirabana Baba Tuna Burras or Zapafa, Kalamuru. Mono Maraja Tarubo. Kitile o bulela ngwa o santa ting ngwa 2020 ga bagane ka re tlhasetse ke te u gate covid 19 e ra gile ga melo ma xe a tsolo ba dirage ti a re ba ka fa mosi kgola moru covid 19 iwe kutanyana kwena o le gano le ntsho 
o dubile le fatola peste ko boka le tsho fa o tsana nteng go sala silelo le khurano a meno ke a le la moruba we moruba ke a le la moruba ke a le ija o bala bala ga ngwana ga se botlhale bac mo tsedi wa metsi a monate mangwa ga go a monate se ka ngwana anywa mmawe wa lusitse no na le tsa di botswana ka bopara ga ola moru dialo ga ni we dialo ga ni we tutole se di la ka tle go botshelo tsa na mabogo someli pelere tsa malebela go ba ba go dile modimo o teng o tla rutlwela botlhoko a re tlhapeng di a ta kapetsa kapetsa ka metsi a pepa le molora ri pipeng ko le molo khola moru na ke bidu a ta ba ngwaeng ke mosima no a mmina ngwe maila go le ka pesa ba rena ba tana sa bogo senyatsa sa moruba we le saleng ka pula Now at this particular juncture I'd like to call to the podium the executive director of BAC Mr. Tiliburu to come and introduce the honorable minister of tertiary education research science and technology Dr. Douglas Lotsolatebe Maliburu if you may Um I always say that it's so wonderful to have a leader who will always irrespective of how challenging the office is will always be with you today we have our honorable minister of tertiary education research and technology dr daklas lesolatebe this is a leader who is always listening to our requirements listening to what the education sector requires and most importantly the fact that he has been in the education sector himself he has been with the university of botswana himself he understands exactly what our requirements are not only that this is a man who is always vouching i must say to the powers that be about our needs any time we request for things like now as you know we needed all the technology to be available he was there for us and i would like to think that the graduates of today you are actually very happy that you were able to navigate through whatever it is that you required to do for you to graduate today and this is the man who made it possible for you and he deserves a round of applause I'm very confident also that this is our leader who is going to be able to navigate and help us navigate this COVID-19 as we go and onboard all the online programs or all the programs that we have online and future programs online this is the leader who will have to follow when he's opened the path for us and I'm very confident he's done it he's doing it and is continuing to do it and i trust that honorable minister when 2024 comes in you will still stand over to you honorable minister you can come on to the podium thank you very much the master of ceremonies the permanent secretary minister of uh, minister of tertiary education research science and technology professor nelson toto Senior government um, uh, representatives here present, the Botswana Accountancy College Board Chairperson, Dr. Sabanim uh, Zinge, BAC Board of Directors here present, the Botswana Accountancy College Executive Director, uh, Mayor Seti Liburu, Vice Chancellor of the University of Davie, Professor uh, Kathleen Michel, 
Vice Chancellor of Sheffield Hallam University, Professor Chris Husbands, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Sunderland, Professor John uh, McIntyre, the BAC Senior uh, Leadership Team here present, partner un university representatives, leadership of the industry, BAC employees, student representative councils for Haboroni campus and the Frankston campus respectively and your council members, graduation sponsors, distinguished uh, guests, and most importantly, Ma'am Nana Kanadu Lorato Anani and the special BAC class of 2020 graduates and Rio families. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, Ma'am Aliburu said I'm always willing to come here. It is like that because I always feel at home here. The reception is always something above class. That's why today I just decided to come and ask permission from Parliament to come and join you. <laughs> Greetings to you all. As you join us for the extraordinary uh, special day, history is made every day. And I must say that in years to come, we will, be comm we will commemorate this day as one of the greatest and notable days of our lives. And I'm honored to be part of the history in the making as your keynote uh, speaker. I am uh, truly proud and delighted that during the challenges and the disruption created by the impact of the pandemic, the BAC team, students and their stakeholders, united to face the challenges with dynamism, vitality, energy, strengths, great spirits, and finally, emerged victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020 graduation is incredible and special in many ways. When COVID-19 was declared a pandemic in March 2020 uh, by the World Health Organization, the government of Botswana instituted a state of emergency and introduced a lockdown as a precautionary uh, measure to protect its citizenry from contracting the virus. These precautionary measures also impacted in all sectors of the economy and livelihoods, rendering most of the people in mobile and some businesses ceasing to operate. Despite leaving the insta uh, the lifting the restrictions and opening of the markets, our government through the COVID task force continues to educate the nation on the importance of practicing social distancing health protocols and giving regular updates on the management of the pandemic. We highly commend the team and all employees in the front line dealing with the pandemic and related cases on a daily basis for the extraordinary work that they do. I therefore request all of us to play our part in keeping safe, adhering to the set protocols and keeping uh, and being champions of safety against contacting, contacting the virus. It requires dedication and effort from each, of our, each one of us to reduce the spread of the virus and preserve our nation. Let us protect one another. Due to the lockdowns that were implemented to contain the control of, and the spread of the virus, all factors of the, uh, of the economy were affected, including education. And it's brought a lot of uncertainties among affected parties, especially students and their parents. I am pleased that the BAC management and their stakeholders steadfastly uh, put pressure, uh, measures in place to facilitate uh, completion of the academic year to enable students to progress to the next level for their studies and most importantly, for the final year students to complete their qualification. Though not easy, the graduates have had to instantly adjust to the newly introduced changes in teaching and learning methods, which was a combination of remote learning, remote learning support and limited physical attendance of lessons and or practical work on campus to adhere to the set social distancing protocols. Through these trying times, the students demonstrated their greatest strength, discipline and agility as they embraced these changes with courage and enthusiasm. So today, we celebrate the victory of 627 
graduates who are going to be conferred with their respective degree qualifications. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on this special day, I am very delighted and most honored to announce that the Botswana Accountancy College produced magnificent um, um, results this year with the highest number of 64 first classes in its entire history of achievements through the 10 undergraduate. This is exceptionally outstanding performance under circumstances as we gratefully, what we, as we are grateful for the collaboration and determination of all parties who persistently worked together to ensure that the future of our youth, our future leaders is preserved. The class of 2020, I commend you for the, your great work and your resilience for, la, for your loved um, ones for the support, the Botswana government, industry, the Botswana Accountancy College on this accomplishment. We find ourselves in interesting times where the world, so our environment, and life as we know it has significantly and drastically changed. It is a new era, a new dawn, where COVID-19 pandemic has substantially affected humanity like oh, no other pandemic war or even the greatest economic depression. This calls for each one of us to introspect or re-engage and brace ourselves to integrate with the changes that come uh, with it in our lives, our businesses and communities. That way we will overcome whatever challenges we may encounter today and in the future. It, also, it has also led to the creation of numerous innovative business opportunities. Experiencing lockdowns and closure of border gates ignited aspirations, determination, and culture of self-reliance amongst our people. During these times, our relationships threatened and we united as the nation to respond to the needs of our people. This year, we experienced a significant increase in consumption of locally produced goods and services. This is a good indication and drive towards the self-sustenance and has revealed that we have, we have knowledgeable and capable people who can continue to produce goods and services to grow and sustain the economy. Some of these were on a smaller scale and I hope that they will take advantage of programs developed by the government to support and uplift such initiative. And I'm definitely sure that the class of 2020 from BAC is gonna join and help us achieve our dream. Our citizens ranging from the youth and elderly ventured into various startup businesses ranging from food, livestock, and poultry uh, production to support the demand for basic needs in our society. A very welcome and timely change, which we hope can evolve into a sector that can commercially produce a supply to supply the country and possibly export to other markets, uh, conditions permitting. Therefore, there lies the opportunity graduates to participate and contribute positively to the economy. In the State of the Nation's Address, His Excellency, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Botswana, Dr. Mkwezi, Eric Kiabetsu Masisi, announced some of the interventions developed by the government to assist the nation to cope and recover from the distress and complications caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This include economic recovery and uh, transformation plan uh, known as the ERTP, which is expected to revive the economy and medicate against the unprecedented shock caused by COVID-19. Through the National Development Bank, the NDB, and agri Business Stimulus Fund has been established to promote smart farming. The fund, has supports, the, this fund also supports SMEs to supply essential goods and services to the nation during the pandemic. In addition, CEDA revised its guidelines to facilitate citizen economic empowerment and have identified agro-business construction, technology and innovation, energy, manufacturing, agriculture, 
tourism and mining and creative industry as priority uh, sectors. The graduating class of 2020, I encourage you to contact these government entities to inquire on how you can be part of the solution and take advantage of these funds to contribute to the revitalization of our economy through uh, your creative ideas. And considering the limited and constrained resources experienced by both the government and the private sector, it is critical that our graduates join the industry prepared to be innovative and explore different ideas that can be converted into viable business solutions. You should network as much as you can to seek opportunities for employment, entrepreneurship, and or partnership. You must find a way to be part of the transformation in its new era. The executive director of the Botswana Accountancy College, Ma Liburu, and your team, I'm very proud of you. That you can continue to enhance entrepreneurship initiative for your students. I understand that this year, another program named Otterridge 2 Trade has intro was introduced as a feeder program for the existing um, investment battlefield student uh, competition. Upon completion of this program, the student will then compete for the investment battlefield startup capital through presentations to a group of panelists, including investors. It is our wish that once established and growing, these enterprises will have a multiplier effect and create jobs for some unemployed youth in our communities. BAC continues to engage different stakeholders, such as the Citizen Entrepreneurship Development Agency, the SEDA, Local Enterprises Agency, LEA, the Botswana Innovation Hub, BIH, and Microsoft Africa PTYLTD to work together in the development of the app factory projects to promote technological and innovative skills. The projects facilitated under the app factory initiatives are done in collaboration with industry partners for co-creation and co-production. Under the app factory projects initiative BAC initiatives, BAC has collaborated with Microsoft PTA LTD as a technical partner. Botswana Innovation Hub for Innovation um, Funding and Startup Acceleration, where students are linked with industry partners and ch uh, challenged to produce ICT solutions to address um, industry problems. Remember, innovation is all about solving problems. You do not just innovate for the sake of innovating. You innovate because people have got problems and they rely on you to solve their problems. Ladies and gentlemen, Seda and Leah, are engaged as industry partners, which will assist in identifying problems faced by SMEs under their portfolios, especially those in the tourism and hospitality sector. And the BAC, through its students, are engaged to come up with innovative solutions. Let me take, um, let me take this opportunity to challenge the BAC graduating class of 2020 to take a lead in exploring those openings. As you may be aware, our tourism sector, which is one of the largest contributors of our GDP, has been adversely impacted by the COVID-19 restrictions. Therefore, there is need to create more awareness for the sector and mobilize citizens to travel around the country to enjoy and marvel the beauty of our wildlife and natural resources to re-energize and revive the sector. I do invite you also to come to Tati East. There are some... Uh, tourist areas to come and see. In, <laughs> in fact, national heritage and cultural tourism are some of the areas of growth in this sector. So opportunities await you for the taking. As a ministry, we are inspired by these partnerships as they have a potential to create more employment opportunities and contribute to the growth and diversification of our economy. It is our hope that more industry players will participate in these projects to unleash the aptitude, capacity, and capability of the youth to enable them to showcase their creativity and talent. Ladies and gentlemen, finding victory during challenging times like this one is the beginning of success in the making and one of the many more achievements to come. 
you should all be delighted to be part of the history and of, the, of a generation that lived to face and overcome challenges brought by this pandemic to prove that the human spirit is undeniably unbreakable. Despite the challenges that you experienced in 2020, there's much more to celebrate, such as the resilience of mankind, the accelerated innovations, and the collective spirit of collaboration in families, organizations, communities, and country, uh, countries to overcome the challenges of unism. It is with great, it was the same spirit of resilience that you managed to complete your studies class of 2020. This is a true reflection of dedication, determination, hard work, and living lives of peoples. I would like to acknowledge you, the graduating class of 2020, for being the epitome of peoples, resilience, and success. As you graduate this year, view your lives with a similar purpose and better. You graduate at a time when the world is evolving, transitioning and repositioning itself to find ways to stabilize and move forward. This is the best time to align yourself to the new economy. The skills, qualification and experiences acquired over your academic journey should give you confidence to join industry and entrepreneurship courageously with the aim to overcome whatever challenges may, came, may come your way to prove solutions for the economy and the society. Finally, to the special class of 2020, the future is always uncertain, as you have seen. It is upon you to create opportunities for yourselves. Having bravely and courageously survived the challenge you experienced this year to complete your qualification, I am very much confident that you are yet to um, achieve greater things in life. I know that this year you missed out on the traditional graduation ceremony where you could be celebrating in one room with your friends, peers, and families. Despite this, I urge you to take pride in your achievement and celebrate your success. You end it through your hard work and resilience as you spend the last three to four years sacrificing on other areas of interest and dedicated time and energy to get where you are today. You deserve to enjoy your accomplishment as this marks a significant milestone that can transform your life for the better. Continue to inspire the upcoming generations who are now wondering what the future holds in terms of higher education. As a result of the current changes there is accelerated uptake in the use of ICT in Botswana and the world at large. I therefore implore you, the graduating class of 2020, to explore the use of ICT, um, to encourage also new business ventures to seek opportunities locally and internationally to grow your career, as this is the most critical skill of the new economy. We have all witnessed and experienced how technology transcends even the most impossible of situations and hope that you will take advantage of all the opportunities made available for your personal and professional growth. So there is a lot that you can do in various sectors of the economy from agriculture, health, ICT, and most importantly, education. Having experienced online learning, you can bear testimony to the countless opportunities on this field. So go ahead and create your own legacy. Congratulations once more, class of 2020. Go ahead and embrace the world with vigor and tenacity. And you will find your way. I wish you all the best as you venture into the new economy. Enjoy your day. Another round of applause to the Honourable Minister. <laughs> Essentially, he was encouraging graduates, you graduates, uh, to use your qualifications, to seize opportunities and follow your passion. Uh, he was basically encouraging you to make impactful contributions to Botswana and beyond.
And with that, we thank the Honourable Minister. Thank you so much with another round of applause. At this, at this point in time, I would like to uh, call the Executive Director, as well as the Honourable Minister, uh, to come to the podium for a presentation uh, of the token that BAC has for the Honourable Minister for gracing such an occasion. Uh, okay, Honourable Minister. I usually want to open my presence so that it's clear. The Master of Ceremony can see what it's in here. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Now, um, for the crowning, crowning moment uh, that everybody has since been waiting for, I would now invite the college registrar, Mr. William Sakata, to come and call out the names of the graduating class of 2020. Now, uh, just a side note, uh, be mindful that every graduating class will be led by the best student, followed by the first classes and others for undergraduate and uh, we will start with distinction for postgraduate, then others will follow respectively. We shall begin with the University of Derby, followed by the University of Sunderland, and then Sheffield Hallam University graduates. And graduates, uh, you will walk and bow in front of the stage party and wear your caps as you proceed to collect your scrolls on the table and at the end of the stage. I think uh, the, the ball is in your court, sir. Go right ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it is my pleasure to call out the qualifications, starting with master's degree, University of Derby. Vice Chancellor, I now present to you the graduating class for the award, Master of Science Strategic Management. Pass with merit, Kalemang Temuro. Pass, the Hope, the Lyon Saiti, the Solame, the Tsepo, the Tsebe, the Sedi, Lutango Manuel, Macheng Maleburo, Maribe Mureque, Masele Sele Mutusi, Masunga Tinao. Matiza Dorothy, Mbagani Christopher, Mutsiwa Tatayote, Mpotwe Tsepang, Nyabaza Perakai. Postgraduate Diploma in Strategic Management, Linsui Horata, Murobe Pell. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the names for the graduating class of 2020 for the qualification Master of Science in Strategic Management. We now move to the undergraduate degree awards, starting with international Bachelor's of Arts Honours in International Hospitality Management. Vice Chancellor, I now present to you the graduating class for the award Bachelor's of, Science, Bachelor's of Arts Honors in International Hospitality Management. First class, Bunyongo Maikuto, Hawala Sui Bridget, Hasebatu Taloso, Koroho Mustanagape, Tabulogang Mildred, second class, division one. Badi Neiwe Lame, Bakone Camorello, Halemi Peso, Isaac Papizani, Maturi Priscilla, 
Muchumi Kibidu, Petros Sepang, Sidukanelo Komozo, Second Class uh, Division 2, Chawa Uleboreng, Kole Kwang Komozo, Kileburile Mwalusi, Lepo, Shaman, Malapela Sorolame, Mosela Koko Kazo, Motamai Utsezui, Third Class, Raubinele Toto, Rayofeli Keneirwe, Julius Tato, Kitemore Naume, Kenaleman Kitumezi, Kenowendo Moli, Malete Baone, Molefe Ruizone, Selega Leborang, Tony Alemo Charity. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the award for Bachelors of Arts in International Hospitality Management. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award Bachelors of Arts International Tourism Management. First class, Borana Mang Bitumelo, Chepet Rizone, Disang Selezo, Raibini Sweso, Kulitilwe Mori, Kaisara Babuluki, Letare Tuso, Morozi Masero, Raisake Kesero, Second class, Division One. Daniel Tumelo Dube Masedi, Israel Precious Guafila Ndapiwa, Jafta Zizani, Lekone Maitumelo Mafoko Precious, Malokwane Precious, Marai Soromuso, Mataba Samantha, Masiriso Hopaone, Mesuele Karabo Charles, Musi Olerato, Mogwera Calvin, Muni Masiriso, Mosara Lesero, Musimanenga Pell, Mutokodise Winello, Mutuaidi Belinda, Nelson Chesa, Nkile Katlero, Ufitile Wame, Ramorala Kumo, Rich Linus, Sibonero Gracias, Soke Hufiwa, Sivia Bapaletri Smith, Celine Tamare Queen, Thomas Ruth. Senyero Mofat, Second Class Division Two, Boropa Ethel, Bat Lin, Dingalo Utsile, Disang Magdalene, Dishone Atanang, Kaubolae Amante, Kakua Fikile, Kadimilwe Aubakwe, Lekobe Kamuretui, Malesela Tumelo, Maseko Dominic. Matare Boradi, Moloke Gabriel, Murozi Mapula, Mukoke Odenele, Musekin Sekwa, Matsewe Situnya, Mutsewe Felicia Situnya, Mutsula Kreti Pofaone, Muzingwani Wile, Muturi Susan, Nekita Chantel, Patiko Witsepo, Rebaone Dimulemo, Searo Masero, Sorota Benjamin, Sitibe Tero, Shadrek Langanani. Third class, Tatorang Larona, Masenga Muluki, Yorotite Siponi, Kaudi Wame, Maranu Ludo, Keboni Christopher, Madisa Kwana Botokwa, Moranesi Natash, Robert Oromudite, Srajani Walter. Pass degree. Labani Zanel, Marope Tekolo, Masule Juel, Matiani Matilda, Mazignani Tero, Tefo Max, Troyame Pusezo. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the university for the graduating class of 2020. We now turn to Sheffield Harlem University.
May I invite the Vice Chancellor of the University to come forward? Vice Chancellor, I now present to you the graduating class for the award Masters of Arts Procurement and Logistics Management. Distinction, Musa Lilian, Merit Lesiani Museiki, Majumani Mavis Muzola Siamo, Ntara Kumo, Setebe Kikeli, Pass Muloisi Brian, Lueto Mpapi, Mropudi Lydia, Ntirang Teboro, Tansi Nanao, Mutuening Swaro. Postgraduate certificate, Musweu Serofato. Postgraduate with a credit pass, Randisa Haitusi. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the qualification Masters of Arts in Procurement and Logistics Management. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award. Master of Business Administration, Executive. Pass with distinction. Muromutin Pete Kialabura Vincent, Putero Bakang, Merit Kerakang, Rifilwe, Kolobe Muluki, Matutu Letang, Morapedi Maiteo, Mualija Dora. Noi Camorello, Nawa Regina, Pass Kenosi Serofato, Matieta Salefang, Mitia Bangwe Kifire, Murima Kwane Raone, Celeboro Christopher, Tau Boraju. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for Masters in business administration. That also concludes the master's level awards. I now turn to undergraduate bachelor's of arts degree. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award Bachelors of Arts, Honors, Business Management. First class, Kausin Kwe Kofaone, Mlambo Polite, Uta Disang, Kenny. Second class, Division One, Chabanga Paradise, Dodo Unkabezi, Koreke Kibafenze, Kutuele Precious. Liburu Jessica, Lipero Tiamo, Makasani Tefo, Makasani Tuto, Mapani Samantha, Matsero Kiakile, Mavura Tanaka, Mawela Leboran, Mbikiwa Mumpati, Mongae Kutuano, Mosara Wetsu, Molalituso James, Petoro Tepo, Piri Yame, Rakosi Kosimore, Rankoa Matsilo, Ratau Maungo, Sidat Yukubali, Tiro Munkemedi, Chezuba Vekura, Tiagara Seleboro. Second class division two, Budika Angela, Chakwana Yamikani, Kari. Kokezo, Mabusa, Litsile, Maketo Ratamang, Malik Zaid, Manga Alitusi, Nkoni Homotero, Ntabani Moradi, Ntobezi Tapiwa, Usupile Neo, Tetlas, Munsu Moserani, Moki Warabile, Roe Bongani, Sarameng Maikuto. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for 
Bachelor's of Arts Business Management. Vice Chancellor, I now present the award Bachelor of Arts Honors International Finance and Banking. First class, Amushilani Bafana, Kitsing Elang, Kimwabe, Baby, Kobe, Kaso, Lekhetiso, Leborang, Leposo, Kaso, Madesui, Chose, Manisa, Mabatu, Mwatapin, Babalwa, Morae, Solofelo, Ndwakule, Lucia, Sakuze, Karabo, Selo, Kaene, Tom, Naledi. Second class, Division 1, Busang, Manyepeza, Ibineng, Banyana, Bote, Ferguson, Sulmen, Kitumile, Tapelo. Kosibudiba Precious, Le Kota Palesa, Le Sokola Horata, Lijani Leloba, Makube Latile, Malunga Tandiswa, Marape Uitile, Masebeke Kefenze, Mwati Kamorelo, Mudise Kitumeti, Mulifi Morwadi, Morris Peo Jemili, Mutadile Le Siro, Motamai Mwemedi, Motona Esi, Swaro, Pojani, Wame, Pule, Kesiro, Radibi, Pel, Rangaka, Palesa, Rakai, Papo, Serale, Umpimeti, Vandistin, Nancy, Tepo, Second Class Division Two, Raserale, Kesiro, Rasiti, Seto. Israel Anthony, qui travaille sur Shelly, qui s'habille au Lrato, le Tebele Hongonte, Magina Getrut, Marumo Tabiso, Mazani Lebone, Mono Kelebrile, Mori Labile, Musipi Unneile, Mutokwa Awakwe, Nkwe Tankiso, Nyanga Bugalo, Pefo Tabang, Ramasia Rape. Ramutala, Musimane Rape, Titusi, Bakang, Setake, Tabo, Tebelelo, Atasaone, Wadi Kwanyana, Situnya. Third class, Bimbo, Reginald, Kisupetwe, Malesolo, Museti, Ubakeng, Toteng, Abigail. Higher certificate in education for Rata Mokets. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the Graduating class in the qualification Bachelor of Arts, International Finance and Banking. I now turn to the graduating class for the award Bachelor Bachelor of Arts Honors in Entrepreneurship and Business Leadership. First class, Daniel Rumbizai, Morale Wami. Second class, Division 1, Daniel Tato, Dikoriso Nompi, Gumede Vuyo, Kiatuin Tsaone, Letlare Pinki, Mafoko Lesiro, Masie Hazel, Matubako Tanya, Mfa Kariso, Malaudi Rochelle, Mulimi Primrose, Siganelo Anita, Tawani Erika. Second class, Division 2, Bonang Tero, Ferguson Kelvin, Haile Siwi Tabo, Kitumeze Tabiso, Isiani Luaro, Libiti Maria, Mautwanyani Gabriel, Mary Tumo, Mwari Utile, Mudise Laone, Mwen Kitumile, Newman Shimanyana, Nigat Shahin, Orona Pole, Sebata Kesiro, Sebeli Tabang, Tebele Lofrida, Tuso Atlerang Lucy, Fetlas, Balatedi Pasha, Basupi Bancha, Gunda Kalalelo, Hange Kauzepani, Kofu Maradi, Rasisiru Kokezo, Sueli Wapula. 
That concludes the award for the qualification Bachelor of Arts, Honors, Entrepreneurship and Business Leadership. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award Bachelor of Arts, Honors, Accounting and Finance. First class, by Kisi Nancy, Batisani Mary, Bulayani Wame, Chumia Olivia, Elias Suranezo, Mafojane, Lalang, Masike Sempete, Musweu Unkutrile, Ndlovu Beatrice, Rasul Fiza Bigam. <laughs> Second class, Division 1, Mapakwani Jilen Ntibo Kaone, Abdul Yusuf, Ami Muzamil, Babuseng Moroba, Bisile Kesiro, Bisho Tony, Chirunga Nyasha, Dube Kato, Habatwani Kalebora, Hausekwi, Achibold, Gulubani, Tapiwa, Hadebe, Peo, Ulise Atamelang, Kopelang Teboro, Lekreto Mpwente, Lusulibi, Matla, Lusulo, Toto, Maeleso, Lindi, Mafuko, Grace, Mapeo, Neo, Masere, Oscar, Maseko, Rose, Masisi, Kopo, Masokwani, William, Matome, Quinn, Merafi, Nkamrelang, Muitoi, Imani, Mkhalagadi, Raubonyi, Musia Kabu, Muso, Mutsumi, Kaone, Moyo, Tembelise, Nehemia, Uyapo, Obakeng, Florence, Utimile, Karo, Halalo, Kuromudizwe, Ramutlaba, Ame, Ramutsuiri, Dora, Robi, Tumelo, Sitibe, Cynthia, Tipe, Babo, Second Class, Division 2, Ahmad Simia, Ali, Nabila, Bright, Sofaso, Emang Kamrelo, Jeremia Wendy, Katundulu Jacqueline, Kesebeswe Papudi, Lorodimu Keleburile, Lepale Lizi, Maisuto Toto, Malijani Selang, Maruatuna Lucia, Matipani Tato, Mudie Richard, Mudise One, Moroti Taelo, Mukadinyana Makula, Musiri Naume, Marin Doko Isaac, Mutami, Shamein, Mamutsuku, Itzing, Robalang, Beauty, Tiro, Cynthia, Tetlas, Bayani, Mpilo, Kabelo, Fenyang, Mwen, Anita, Mukosi, Geli, Mureki, Kamrelo, Ramasu, Fernando, Pass Degree, Raymond, Pirinyani, Undergraduate Certificate, Piri, Pofamudim. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the university. I now turn to the University of Sunderland and uh, invite the Vice Chancellor to come forward. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award Master of Science Project Management. Pass with, with distinction, Adesida Baromuti Precious, Ronze Brian, Sizaka Olivia, Labani Mary, Molai Irelo, Ngiba Christian, Wabile Tabiso, Merit Kadisa, Kamokaro, Kitsile Nerakani, Masunga Ludo, Mwari Kitumeti, Mudipane Maleboro, Motwa Lintuetipi, Pilani Moreri, Semausu Lesero, Seko Kito, Tonope Nkabi, Pass Kilipile Lena Cleo, 
mgonono mwabi ntlabano gaone ntokwani tato postgraduate certificate melusi dumisani peso karo piso tolerance vice chancellor that concludes the award for the qualification master of science project management I now turn to the undergraduate awards. Vice Chancellor, I now present to you the graduating class for the award, Bachelor, Bachelors of Arts, Science, Computer Systems Engineering. First class, Anani Nana Lorato, C'est Pepe Stuart, Marola, Alebakwe, Mouroti, Keleto, Morale, Toleburile, Kuku, Lame, Kwena, Wokedite, Masupe, Katareti, Musoma, Raitiwi, Iswani, Kumo. Second class, uh, Division 1, Kori, Tato, Mokobelelo, Raone, Sikano, Matoronolo, Kule, Anita, Labo Bedi, Katero, Mungata, Sean, Munonyani, Adulasis, Masole, Joseph, Matumo, Montel, Halefiti, Kabo, Kaulikwi, Bakan, Molapisi, Tsepo, Kiakopa, Waro, Ranara, Dineo, Ntongana, Zulibanzi. Second class, Division 2, Gwaloba, Oratile, Korobi, Malcolm, Makwakwaguo Mutusi, Masabani Bokang, Mukume Tuelo, Molefe Retabile, Mpoe Bokamuso, Muzila Mwari, Peluwezi Mudiri, Pule Lasti, Bakomu Unkukami, Sobamo Nunufo, Sereki Tabang. Selelo Tabo, Mudise Kositile, Siborisi, Kalalelo, Sadinyane, Waboloka, Sajamitwa, Mildred, Likutile, Tsepo, Muluki, Amralang, Dukulube, Amralang, Tuanim, Precious, Senyati, Abusianelui, Mukopo, Muemedi, Molapisi, Bushianti, Kanelang, Laone, Fetlas, Titabanezui, Unoda, Molateri, Tero, Maruatuna, Kutuano, Paul, Bernard, Madira, Leboran, Utale, Uteng, Ordinary Degree, Ditaou, Bonolo, Ntema, Pesi, Ponatero, Cabo, Sihula, Oratile, Itali, Mutusi, Mumpati, Loaro, Motserwa, Lone, Piri, Robert. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the award. Bachelor of Science, Computer Systems Engineering. Vice Chancellor, I now present the award, the graduating class for the award, Bachelor of Science, Applied Business Computing. First class, Mutabi, Tato, Kuku, Vincent. Second class, Division One, Chawawa, Rufaro, Havutrelu, Duncan, Kuitsione, Innocent, Katero, Ngirelang, Kiritabile, Jona, Insuitso, Ilonia, Lesulo, Keleburile, Mabaila, Bame, Maika, Gladness, Mangera, Junait, Mangope, Kwabe, Walina, Manatuko, Lifika, Matolela Nteborang, Mudise Kamurelo, Morae Lotla Moring, Mukue Bakanuki, Nzi Tuto, Paledi Muteo, Pelekekai Siamo, Ramatita Kwaba, Ramoi Tsepi, Sekape Babalelo, Tamari Kariso. Second class, Division 2, Mahuma Clinton. Kuku Tabiso, 
kabo ya khosi babuluki pitas kuzanani sekhwa sekhwa fetlas bakhanedi raputi pas degree mutsumi atang vice chancellor that concludes the award for the qualification Bachelor of Science Honours Applied Business Computing. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award Bachelor of Science Honours Business Intelligence and Data Analytics. First class, Nsinga Tegwe Tapapiwa. Second class, Division 1, Mwabi Telma. Second class, Division 2, Mudibedi Kenanao, Tladi, Suloi Bobo. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the qualification Bachelor of Science Honors, Business Intelligence and Data Analytics. Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduating class for the award. Bachelor of Science Honors, Mobile and Web Technologies. First class, Leborang Violet, Mwepeng Olikani, Mukheti Chandapiwa, Mutabi Inte, Nkala Bradley, Munyazi Kifilwe, Silva Bao Kitumezi, Mugorosi Karabo, Mwepeng Olikani. Second class, Division 1, Diseko Wesley, Kaena Meli Rose, Kawetsewe Kuda, Hang Bitumelo, Madite Kinsley, Mahaladi Bone, Miende Vincent, Mereki Chawapiwa, Munchu Kadimo, Mpala Kanelo, Ubonezi Tsepang, Tumotumo Kalalelo, Ngebani Mumpati, Dongo Umungwe, Kuswani Jessica Maveve, Tamalo, Tamalalo Kufiwa, Musisani Agata, Nathaniel Mano, Ram Kuswani Latoya, Vimba Rachel, Chabe Ulebureng Donovan, Muremedi Celebazo, Second Class Division 2, Otla Adisa Jurif, Mutatero Ashford, Lebani Chedu, Waniwa Tato. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the award for the qualification Bachelors of Science Honors Mobile and Web Technologies. Vice Chancellor, that also concludes the award for the university for the class of 2020. On behalf of the three universities, I hereby confer upon you the award that you have received today. At this point, um, I would like to call to the podium the 2019 valedictorian Reta Vongam Chuchuti to come and give the vote of thanks. Let me just tell you something about this amazing young man. He is an award-winning entrepreneur. He is a Yale Young African Scholar, as well as the managing partner of Xavier Africa, which... Uh, is a specialist research firm specializing in curating tailor-made artificial intelligence-powered solutions. BAC created this gentleman. What a long year this has been. We came from the lecturer saying to you all as students, keep quiet, you're making noise, to can we all please mute our microphones? We came from the lecturer showing the slides on the screen and saying, oh, all those at the back, can you see? To, can you all see my shared screen? 
And we came from being able to make noise in class and act like you are not making noise when the teacher calls your name <laughs> to multitasking during a Zoom class call whilst you're on mute and then act like you knew what the lecturer was talking about when they call your name. <laughs> As I start my speech, I would like to um, observe all protocol. All protocol is highly observed. And would like to commend the class of 2020 for the courage, for the persistence, for the resilience that you have shown in fighting the graduate battle in a year where it was very difficult. Graduating is hard. And a lot of people actually start the university journey but never manage to finish it because of the discipline required. However, graduating in a pandemic is a flex that a few people have in their sleeves. And you should be proud of yourselves today that you managed to survive a time where everything had changed as life as we knew life itself. And I would like to just share three things with you as we, we close on the ceremony today. Three nuggets of wisdom that you will need as you go out there into the industry and represent this great school of ours. The very first one is this resilience, this courage you have shown today. Let it not end today. Let this be the beginning of a courageous generation that will take Africa forward. Let them know that right here in this school, we bred the men and women who are courageous and resilient enough to be able to change our continent as it is known. The second thing is, life out there is hard. And as much as university was hard and graduating in the midst of a pandemic was hard, just try to multiply that by three or five. At your workplace, if you're unfortunate enough to be in a toxic work environment, some of your coworkers may be trying to fight you. You might be trying to even um, establish yourself in the company, but no one is seeing you. But at the end of the day, keep your resilience and keep your courage. And as I close today, I'd also like to say, what BAC said today, what Maleburu here said about BAC promoting entrepreneurship is no lie. I have seen it myself in my own venture. At the beginning of this year, before any other company could give us a chance, BAC allowed us to use, them, uh, to use the school as a guinea pig for all 5,000 students were registered by a virtual assistant and autonomous conversational agent that we built. And that gave us the confidence to understand that the products that we're building are good enough for market as well as to be able to establish ourselves in the market and say, we've done this before and we thank BAC for that once again. So do not fear going to the school and asking for help because they are always here to help you. And once again, let's make Africa great. Congratulations to you all. Everything I said